everybody. Um, we just got back from a camping trip that was a little bit different, and we need to repack our camping bin, but before we did, we thought it might be nice to show everybody what we pack to show you some of the hacks that we have learned um, through our camping trips and also through our kids being in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. So we've learned lots of things we thought we would like to share with you. I'll show you of what we pack in our bin is the kitchen area and um, we live in a region that's really hot throughout the summer and a lot of the times that we have vacation so it's not really an area you want to build a fire and cook over so we like to choose campsites with electricity if we can so when we have a site with electricity we'll bring along this Hamilton Beach griddle and it's also a um, a panini press sort of thing and it has removable uh, removable sections that you can flip to turn it into a griddle for pancakes but to make things really easy is before we go camping we go ahead and cook it whatever we're having we'll put it in some metal trays and we'll freeze them so all we have to do is just put them on these and warm it up and you have your meal and the plate all in one and it's recyclable too um, so we just do that to make everything easier and clean up easier we bring along a set of um, silverware and knives in a container that we can wash and reuse um, we bring the um, dish sponge and soap all in one so that makes it easier for cleanup um, I've saved these things too for cooking on so this was a instapot that we had that broke so I just saved the inside as a camping pot and then just an old pot that um, we had laying around that we could also use to wash dishes in if we needed to but it's also very important to bring some trash bags with you we bring um, a vinyl picnic cloth so that we can wash and reuse it Make sure you have something for picking up hot pots. And then um, it's good to bring along extra rubber bands too, just in case you need something to hold up um, your trash bags or anything for setup. It's good to have that kind of stuff extra. So if you are at a campsite that um, you do need to make a fire, if there isn't electricity, we have a few tricks that you can do. Um, one is you can always carry little fire starter logs with you. Um, you've got your regular lighters, matchsticks, um, but some of the things that we learned in Girl Scouts are things that you already have at home, and that is you can stuff some of your dryer lint inside of a toilet paper tube. And to make it last even longer, you take wax paper and wrap it around like a little piece of candy. Or you can even take um, old wax from candles and stick it inside. And um, you light the ends so that it lasts a little bit longer, but you have enough fire starter and it's all dry inside too. So that helps when it's wet outside. Um, we also take these little portable, um, you can just take an old medicine container or something small, but this is a, a small emergency kit. Um, I've stuffed it with band-aids and things like Benadryl if there's uh, an allergic reaction or anything like that. Um, some extra cotton swabs, but we also have uh, wrapped up in wax paper some extra matches in case there's an emergency and you're just caught somewhere and need a fire really quickly and so that's um, an extra little bit for in case you do have to um, cook over a fire or if you need a fire where it's cold at night so here are a few things that we might use for setup um, now if you're tent camping um, you might want to also bring tarp and of course stakes um, to set up for that a lot of times tent camping will not have electricity so of course bring some flashlights with you um, some lanterns so that you can see even glow sticks are very helpful um, 
to use, and there's lots of hacks with glow sticks. If you do have electricity, like where we just camped, um, we were in a pavilion, so we had electricity and we brought along our uh, extension cords, and they're pretty short, so they're easy to travel with. And we use that for bringing along a box fan. We brought um, some Christmas lights because Christmas lights are a little bit dimmer, so the bugs quite aren't quite drawn in as much as uh, big heavy lights. Um, so these are really helpful. And if you bring air mattresses, then um, you need these to plug up your pumps and things like that. Always bring some extra ropes. We bring um, one that we use for our laundry line for wet towels and bathing suits and things like that. Uh, we just recently found these that have a ball on the end, so you can use these to hook up um, something that you're bringing and just hang over a hook. Um, uh, we use that for our portable shower, which we'll show you a little bit later. Um, if you don't have running water, you might want to bring along some tablets. We have these, but they're a little bit older. So I can't really show you what they look like inside, but Jamie used these on one of his uh, Pioneer camping trips. Yeah, so it's basically it's a two-part system. You take, a, take one of the tablets and you drop it in the water. If your water was not potable, not drinkable, it's some place that you need to be able to clean it, whether it's you know, lake water or something that's running that you just don't drink, drop it in, let it sit for about a half hour and it'll purify it so that you can drink it. And then there's a second part if you're wanting it to maybe clear up some of the taste or smells or colors of what the uh, water now will be after it's been neutralized, the uh, chemical we taste from it, you drop in the second part and that clears it up and it makes it not only um, safe to drink but makes it you know better tasting at the same time so it's easier to drink works really well and you can usually buy them for you know about 10 bucks or so at at most stores but it gives you a nice safe drinking water while you're camping you can also bring a water bottle that already has a filter too um, just so you can have it all together but this is another safe bet as well okay so we have some things that you also want to bring some for cleaning some for just being prepared for being outdoors of course you're going to need some um, bug spray some sunscreen um, we actually get these at the dollar tree and they're very nice for just a dollar it's hard to find some for a dollar um, we save our um, if we stay at a hotel or anything we save the shampoo bottles because you can reuse them too to add shampoo inside when you're done using them. Um, of course, I always bring a poncho just in case you're out hiking and you get rained on. You don't have to carry a big umbrella or big rain jacket with you. This fits nicely in a pocket. Um, and then this, if your shoes get muddy, you can just stick these inside uh, or these over your shoes. And um, that way you can keep them inside your tent and not have bugs get inside your shoes without getting all of your um, tent muddy and messy as well. Um, so if you're at a place that does not have running water, um, you can always bring along some wipes to wipe down. And um, this is called a peri bottle. They use it a lot in the medical field for different things, but it's also a good way to squirt and take a shower so you just pour some water in it pour it on yourself if you're out where you have no shower you can get clean wash your hair whatever you need to do with that um, and of course you bring along some soap we have I save um, old Ziploc containers that maybe are a little this has got a broken lid but this is a trick that we learned in scouting you can take some old pantyhose and tie it around something and just stick a bar of soap in it because you can use um, the outside and still soaks up with it. A lot of times in scouting they'll take old juice bottles, fill it with water, and just tie this on the top of the bottle and use it for washing your hands before dinner. Um, so it's a really neat little trick that you can use for that. Um, of course, we'll bring along some um, sanitizing spray uh, to spray down if you were, um, you know, inside of a, a 
we were in a camping pavilion or if you're in a cabin that you want to spray your um, mattresses with, uh, we bring that to you. Um, we have been in uh, KOAs that have laundry facilities, so whenever I get samples of something for washing laundry, I just save them and keep them inside of a container to use when traveling. A bucket is a good idea too if you're at a place with no running water to just dump all the water on you to take a shower. And when we're at a place without a shower, we also bring along a portable shower. So this is our curtains that we use. It took two small curtains and you basically just hook them around a hula hoop. I know this is kind of too big to show, but we just rig it up um, with some ropes and just kind of, we just use it so um, it's not really put together like it should be. But you just kind of put everything together with ropes in the center and you can just hang it up somewhere um, and it'll all balance out. And we also brought along just a blow up portable pool to use so our feet didn't get muddy and it fit really easily in the car. So that's just some ways of keeping clean when um, you are on a camping trip. Also, if you don't want to wash your hair, you've got the option of taking dry shampoo uh, to spray on you. Make sure you bring toothbrushes, of course, and um, plenty of water bottles that you can use just for wiping down and for brushing your teeth. All right, and thank you for watching. You can see that this is finally put all back together in our camping bin. Um, this is just some of the things that you need. You can also have a separate bin for kitchen items. You can have a separate bin for just the tent. This is kind of all of our stuff put together. And you can use the tub for any other things like washing dishes. It's nice that everything that you pack can pretty much have multiple uses.